Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Minecraft. It's Stix here, and we are farming some cactus down here. We are back underground, guys, so that is pretty cool. I've uh, been kind of getting a little bit frustrated with building and stuff lately, like trying to make things look cool. Like sort of the all the outdoor stuff that I've been doing. It's kind of been wearing me out on that sort of uh, side of things. So I've decided to come back underground and do some more redstone, because I really enjoy that kind of thing. So yeah, here we are, guys. I've... Uh, been farming up this cactus down here for now. We've got a couple of stacks here. And yeah, so we're going to be building a cactus farm. You can probably tell that by the title of this video, but hey. Anyways, maybe I'll just change the video title so it's got nothing to do with the cactus farm. And then that would have been useful information. Anyways, guys, that is what we're going to be doing today. So I've cleared out this area here. Now, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in the underground uh, civilization and just here is our sugarcane farm, which I've turned on actually while I'm here. And this, all these chests all the way up to here, Look, this one's full, and then this one we've started filling up now too, so I'm just going to get that, maybe fill this one and then we'll, we'll turn it back off again, because I don't really want to get it uh, clogged up. What I'm going to do is uh, eventually leave this on full time and have the, whatever, whenever this gets filled up, we'll uh, put all the rest into a minecart and we'll take it to the system over there. So to my storage system, and then yeah, we can store a whole lot in there as well. There is not a chest for sugarcane or chests over at the storage unit for that sort of thing yet though, so that will be a uh, bit down the line when we end up finishing the whole storage room thing. But anyways guys, so this is just a temporary farm here right now so I can get enough to fill the farm up. I'm pretty sure I already have enough, but I want to um, smelt a whole heap down to get some... Uh, green clay. We want lime clay and we want the green clay as well. So I can make a giant cactus in the middle here. That's what these five are for. And yes, yeah, so we're going to have a grass path running through the middle. This um, is sort of the fancy part with all the, uh, the, the bricks and whatnot. And then we go down here into our... Uh, I'm not really sure what this area is, but there's the tree farm. This is all sort of uh, nice and green with trees and wood and stuff. So um, yeah, if we loop around this side, there's tree farm down there, purple farm down there, the vine farm right there, which is completely loose, useless, let's be real. What the? Oh, actually, I remember. I left those there just to annoy you guys. Anyways, we picked them up now, so hopefully you guys are feeling better about that. And yeah, if we come up here, we come all the way back to the cactus farm, around that way. So yeah, that's a bit disorientating. Anyways guys, I think I need to make the same amount of space on the other side of here. So we need to dig this out. We've got the hay speak in here. It's just in range for up here. Haven't moved it for a while. But yeah, so we need to do that. I've already gone through my pick once and then gone and got it mended. That was just to clear out this area here. But yeah, once we I've uh, cleared out a bit more space, we'll hopefully build this big cactus thing here in the middle. And that will look cool. And then all around it, we'll have little mini cactus farms which drop cactus down into some water streams. We'll put it in a hopper. And then on this side, we will have all of the cactus in chests uh, just like this. We probably will put the same amount of chests in as this. We definitely won't need that much. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Now, uh, the, the point of getting cactus, obviously, is just for the, the dye, really. The, the dye to make these things. So when you smelt a cactus down, you get the green dye. But uh, apart from that, there's really not that much use for it. But um, yeah, I will I will be using the dye for hardened clay and things in the future. So yeah, it might not be the most useful farm, but I do quite often want green dye and don't have it. So this is going to be pretty helpful. So yeah, and of course, making things that are just way over the top in Minecraft is just it's just the greatest amount of fun. Just making things that are absolutely ridiculous and unnecessary. And you know what? This is, right running through here, is a bit of a, uh, a, a cabin, a crevasse, whatever. I don't, I've forgotten what they're called. Anyways, there's, yeah, there's one running through here, and there's always freaks dropping in. I had, like, three creepers in a row. One dropped right on my head and blew up. Is that one up there? I think I can see it. I thought I'd lit everything up, but they just keep coming back. Yep, see? What is he doing? Reckon we can snipe him. Nope, too high. This one will get him. And another one. Yeah, so I obviously need to go up there and light that bit up too. Damn. Okay, so that's right here. That's why they keep dropping out on me. Anyways, guys, let me clear out that space and we will get right on with the farm. 
Alrighty guys, I've just been clearing this out. That looks like it's ready for me to harvest again. Anyways, I found uh, this room here. So, you guys want to know where this room is? Um, we just climb up here quickly. This is the storage room for all of this mess that I made. So, um, yes, I need to do this. I'll probably do this this episode, guys. I will update the subs wall. We might be getting pretty full on this wall. You might be running out of time to fit your name on here, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should hit that button and you can get your name on here along with all these other awesome people. Um, anyways, guys, so this is under here. This is all the stuff from clearing it. This big area. This is this is terrible, by the way. This needs a lot of work. And this whole area over here. And there's another big area out the back there. And yeah, so anyways, all of that stuff under here is from that. All these chests are filled up with things. And I've dug right into it. So I've uh, been having to move this stuff around. Anyways, wow, that was weird. I just The chest that was just here had all of this coal ore in it. So, um, you know what? I'm going to harvest all of this and put it into my smelter system, which is actually just over there, my auto smelter system. Can you guys see that? Um, yeah, it's over there. I'm going to harvest all this. I wonder how many stacks we're going to get. I got my efficiency, I mean, sorry, my fortune three pick here, so we're going to get a lot. This could be interesting. But anyways, I'm going to move all of this stuff into the storage system, hopefully. Get this out of the way, and then we can move on. Also, that area just over that I just showed you with the chandelier is right here, so... We're not going to be able to go higher than this right here, but that is still pretty high, so I think we will be just fine. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how much coal I get, because this, this is going to be crazy. Alrighty, guys, so we got a lot of stacks here. That is that that is a tremendous amount of coal. Anyway, let's stick um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into the smeltery. That should be enough to keep that topped up for a while. That should head down here. I love how there's just holes in all my walls. That should be heading down here. Um, nope, that's to smelt. They should be heading over here. Yes, there they go. Going into this minecart here. Hey! Yep. Right, cool. That should uh, distribute the coal evenly through uh, out the hoppers that are behind these. Uh, yes, they are running out of coal, so that's good. These ones are all. These ones are full for some reason, but hey. It's not the perfect smelter. I made a tutorial, and the one I made a tutorial was much better than this. Maybe we'll fix this up one day. For now, it still works just fine. So anyways, that goes in there. The rest I'm going to put in the system. Anyways, guys, I got some redstone here too, but I'm going to leave that in block form. Because uh, that's how I want it. I might be able to use it at some stage, because I like the particles it gives off. You can put carpet on top of it, and it just makes your carpet have like cool particles when you walk across it. Anyways, guys, oop. A lot of stuff in here. Still going in. Right guys, so here is the idea. This thing here, this cactus, is 14 wide. but So it's an even number. I've made this 8 wide, which makes it a little bit more complicated, but it's okay. I could have gone 7 and that would have been half, but then we wouldn't have even in this room. The space that we have is even. And uh, I, I mean, I obviously could bring this in one, but I can't go out one. And I want as much space as possible to fit this all in. And I want a decent sized uh, cactus block here. So we need to go one taller on this because it's only it's only eight tall, and I'm pretty sure this is 16 tall and 14 wide because it misses out this one pixel on the side here. So yeah, and then we're going to go up the inside. No, wait, I don't not want to do that. I want to put that there. Then we want to take the hardened black one. We're going to go here, and then here, there, and then right up there. When we can reach, let's see what these look like. Um, not the best, so let's try black wool. Oops, let's not take that out either. Dang it. Um, yes, black wool right there. And there. And there. And that actually looks quite good. I quite like that there. Um, so we need to get that other one up there. So they just zigzag. Oh, I see. No, we could do it like this. This is what the, the, the thing over here does. It goes like they're closer together. And then the last one goes back the other way. So, oh, okay. We should take this one out. Incorrect tool. Definitely incorrect tool. And then the next one could be here and there. And then the next one would go the opposite way. So let's not put obsidian in, guys. That will take us a while to get out. Oh my goodness, building fail. Complete building fail. Let's uh, just jump up here quickly. We're just building a cactus and we're just completely messing it up. Alright, so there's that, that, and then this one would be here, and the next one. So, just put it right, put it right there. 
Okay. Uh, we're also going to add in a different color of clay. Oh my goodness. You know what, guys? Just stop watching for a second. Just just let me finish this with my with my brain. Let's go here and we'll swap these. Out. Okay, that doesn't work. By the way, pick, pick a block. The pick a block thing is awesome. If you have the block in your inventory, you can uh, hit the... I didn't do that. I swear I didn't do that. I am just completely messing this up. Um, yeah, if you have the block in your inventory and you hit the, the middle mouse button, your scroll button, you, hit, you push it in rather than scrolling it, it'll uh, put it in your hand. So say I want uh, this lime stained clay, but it's in my inventory. It doesn't matter. I'll still get it right like that. Okay, so that is, is that looking any good? Um, we just put another layer on here, so it should be the right dimensions now. Wondering if it'll look better if we put a roof on it. Okay, that looks okay. So then we're definitely going to need to get the ones on the side here. So it should be at the same level as this one. There's one out here. We're going to need to go get some more black wool. I thought I was going to be able to use the uh, stained clay, but that is that is just not working out. Do I have any more wool in here? I'm pretty sure I don't. Doesn't look like it just by looking quickly. No, no, no. Okay. So... Yeah, we're going to run out pretty quickly. Anyway, there's just underneath that block, there's another one, but that comes out. So maybe we could try doing these out, these bits that stick out. I don't know what that's going to look like. They all seem to stick out, though. But, um, yeah. Alrighty, guys. I will uh, finish this up, show you, and then we will see about setting up the rest of the, the actual farm bit. That will be handy, won't it? So it's, it's not my best work ever, ever but it's uh, pretty much all I can go for, really. So it's about as detailed as we can get, guys. And uh, it, it looks okay. Honestly, it looks it looks not the worst thing ever. So we're going to stick with it for now. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna put the roof in and see what it looks like. Now, I've dug into there. I've decided that I'm going to fix that floor and make it uh, one block higher. Because otherwise, I can't fit in the ceiling that I want to put in here. So if we quickly jump up there... I'll show you what I plan to do. We need to put a ladder up here so we don't have to keep doing this. Anyways, let's just jump up here. So what I want to do is take that out. Um, right, so we want to put in some wool, like so. And then the other colored wool. Anyway, this is meant to look like a sky of some description. Not really sure why, but hey, whatever, guys. We will just go for that. I think we're on the wrong level. Yeah, we kind of are. But anyway, I'll show you guys. Anyways, and then we can just cover it all in blue glass right along all of the sky. I'm going to have to go get a whole heap of wool because, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go dye some sheep. So, right, if we just jump down in here quickly and have a look up, I think that looks pretty cool. It will look much better when the whole ceiling is done. Let's just look. Yep, I think that's going to look pretty awesome, guys. So that's what we're going to go for, a mass load of different types of uh of the, the two different uh types of wool the two colors the light blue and the normal blue so i'm gonna go dye all my purple sheep blue and a few light blue because uh yeah it's gonna take me a while otherwise so yeah let's go uh share some sheep share some sheep share shim yep yep english is really good really easy good language anyways i'm gonna go do that guys and then we will check this out and see if it looks any better with that because right now it looks kind of average but i'm hoping we can turn this project around right guys the ceiling is in we have wood going around the side here too i've started putting some hoppers in the middle here i don't quite have enough well i don't have e even near enough but um they're all gonna head off in this direction actually that's a silly idea. Why don't I just put them underneath the road here? Yes, I've just figured that out. Okay, guys. These are all facing the complete wrong way. We will send them underneath the uh, road. What, what? The the platform. The walkie thing. Yeah, the thing we walk on. Yep, the ground. Fantastic. Okay, so, yeah. The cactus is in now. The ceiling is in. Now we just have to come up with the actual design. So, did I pick all those hoppers up? Yes. Okay. Um, I was putting in the green in the side here. Not sure if I like it, but I don't really want to make it too weird. Maybe we could go a gap of three and then put in more oak like this all the way to the top. That should be high enough. Yes. I'll just jump off in here. Yes. Okay. And then on this side, this will save us some clay too. On this side, we could go 
Oh yeah, and no, we're also considering moving this path, because it's like right on the wall here. But uh, for now, we'll just leave it. And then we can get... I've, I don't have the clay. But we can make that green, and then the other one lime, and go in a striped uh, pattern. Where is it gone? There it is. So we can put in a gap of three for this as well. And I, I can't put in like blocks like this sticking out from the wall because then my cactus might fall on top of it. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing for the cactus farm yet. Anyway, let's just quickly put this stuff in. Let's see what happens. Like so, that'll be okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to look too bad. These two types of clay are honestly not that much different. That'll be cool. We can leave that in there. Okay, so then yeah, what we'll do is get some more and go here. And one, two, three, here, one, two, this is not going to line up, is it? It lines up? I'm a genius, guys. Absolute genius. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So we would do that on both sides. I'm going to have to go get some more wood, aren't I? And I'm going to need more chests for hoppers. Okay, so what I'm thinking is having towers come up the side here for the cactus, right? And then it's going to fall down into a water stream. So the water stream will go here and it will perfectly flow to the middle there where the hoppers will be, and that will be awesome, get rid of that, put these back down, and yeah, so there'll be a water stream all the way along there, feeding into the middle, and hopefully we'll be able to fit a couple on the sides here, which we might put, yeah, this is going to be complicated, maybe there'll be a gap here that they fall down, that the water falls down, and then goes into, uh, no, because then the hoppers are not going to be at the right height, hmm, I should have uh, thought this plan out first, but it's okay, guys. We're gonna we're gonna save it. I told you we're gonna save this episode. Okay, so yes, the floor will not be stone either. That looks terrible. Um, yeah, I will probably do the the style of farm we have. Uh, the cactus. Let's just say that's cactus, and then you have on top of it, like right where that block is there, this one here, the one I just destroyed, will be a fence post. So when the cactus grows up one, it'll hit the fence post, uh, get knocked off, and then hopefully fall around. Sometimes they land on top of the cactus and get destroyed, because the cactus loves to destroy items. But yeah, that should be pretty good, guys. So yeah, uh, the, the ceiling is not the most amazing thing ever, but you know what? It's different, and I like it. So it's better than this place, because this, this makes a lot of sugar cane, but it's kind of boring, you know? Like it's industrial-ish looking. That's just boring. Let's see how much we got on here. Oh yeah, that's going good. That is going great. This thing makes so much sugar cane. Like, when are we ever going to need this? There's hoppers behind all these that are full as well. Like, if I can click into that, those are all full too. Up until the one that is behind this chest. So yeah. Alrighty guys, I need some more clay, and I need some more hoppers, and some fence posts too. Oh, yeah, and some more wood. So, time to go collecting again. Right guys, I said I'd do it this episode, so here we are, the sub wall has been updated from here onwards, we have these new uh, subscribers, and that, thank you guys so much for subscribing, and all of these guys and girls, and yeah, I will uh, be doing a bit of work around this place to uh, make it look like that side, and I'm thinking possibly we could add more panels up here, because I'm going to remove these lights and put them in the floor, I'm going to put more of these in the floor I think, just to help light this place up and yeah so yeah thank you guys so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet guys if you want to get your name on this wall uh yeah just subscribe and have your subscriptions showing because uh, i can only see people that uh, let their subscriptions be shown and then yeah i can uh, add you to the wall but uh only until we run out of space so originally we were going to run out of space once we fill this wall but i may go up there but i may not so you might want to get in quick if you guys want to get into the wall anyways guys thank you so much for subscribing Let's head back over to where we want to be, actually. I don't need to go all this long way. It's uh, just over here. Bit of a, uh, I just fixed up the floor, so we'll fix it as we go through. We'll refix it. If we go down here. Let's put that back. You stay there, floor. Like, like the floor's just going to randomly move on its own. No, 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 let me up. Yeah, okay, here we are. Top of the cactus farm. Let's jump down here quickly. Okay guys, so we have some of the cactus in. Now this is how it's going to go. Um, as you can see, it all just falls down here, like so. And yeah, I'm thinking we might need to go down a little bit. Because uh, right now, this is going to flow. It's going to be just fine. 
It's going to flow right to here. There'll be a, a source block in each corner. And then, oh, I don't know about this middle bit. I've made it complicated for myself. Maybe we will take the bottom one out and put the water in there. I don't know. But I'm thinking once we get over here, we might have a problem getting it uh, into the hoppers over here. So maybe we will have to take out this. And then there'll be hoppers. Right, or, or we could put hoppers right here that lead into the middle there. That actually seems like a better idea. That's a much better idea. Then we don't have to destroy anything. Alright, so anyways guys, let me show you how this is going. Doing my thinking out loud like an idiot person. Okay, so we have the slab here with the sand and then a cactus. And then every time a cactus grows, it will hit this fence and just fall off. Now the user fence, because it's got a smaller, a smaller hitbox, it still hits that off and it has less chance of... Um, hitting it. If I had a full block here instead, it would still work, but if they, the cactus will bounce off at a random direction But if it decides to bounce into it, it will hit the block and then fall straight into the cactus and then be deleted So yeah, we really don't want that to happen and hopefully I will continue to do this But so far I have not thrown by pressing Q like that accidentally thrown any of my tools or anything into the cactus yet So that's just awesome guys. Um, added a few more lights in there and yeah, we have two stories right now and I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I mean, how much cactus does one really need? If I'm in this area, it's going to be loaded the whole time. And I'm not going to put any in the front here because I want to be able to see my big cactus thing here. So, yeah, if we just go through like this, there'll be another... Um, well, I guess just one line will come through here. Or I could switch it up a little bit. But, um, yeah, no, it's probably just going to be the one line, actually. Unless we use the wall. See, if we go like this... And have the cactus, uh, the sand, and the cactus. It'll hit that, and oh uh, well, we're just gonna have to put up with it. We we're just gonna have to be sad that we can't use a fence there. But it's gonna work uh, just as well. Well, not just as well, but yeah. So I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. I will finish copying this up there, fill it up with cactus. I missed one. Damn it! Let's jump all the way up here. Put that. Oh well, well, we're really messing this up, guys. Put this on there. Okay, there we go, guys. All sorted. Okay, let me finish this up. I will put these cactus everywhere and then decide whether we need to go down further or not. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, cactus dropping everywhere. We have all the cactus in place now. This is not the greatest cactus farm of all time. And yeah, as you can see up there, occasionally things are going to get st stuck on top of the fences. But uh, the fences are a lot smaller than other things. Anyway, we have the cactus coming in here. All of these hoppers are pointing into each other until they get to the middle here. Then they're going right through underneath the middle of this cactus. The big giant cactus. And then they come through the middle here, which all these ones will get uh, collected into. If we really need to make this bigger, we can bring some of these out in the front. But I kind of want to just leave it open for now. I think it looks pretty cool, guys. And uh, we've got this floor in here, which looks kind of rubbish. But once the water's on top of it, it's going to look just fine, I think. You won't be able to really tell. And yeah, so all i got to do now, guys, is put in this floor. And then put in all the water. And then we should be good to go. It should be working on this side. Anyway, after that, I'll need to build an item elevator over here. And put some chests in all the way down here. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, guys. Then I'll make this path here look nice, and then we will be finished. So I'll see you guys in a second. So guys, we are done here. We have finished completely. Now, um, I had to put uh, some glowstone in here, because I figured out things can spawn on top of hoppers, which is kind of annoying, because it, uh, it was dark there. So I've had to put the glowstone there. Now I haven't noticed anything spawning there. The light level's high enough, so that is good. Uh, they won't spawn around the back because there are lights around here. So anyway, I'll just show you through. I had a bit of a problem with the water. I was going to put it all around the sides and everything. But uh, yeah, then it just made source blocks everywhere. So yeah, that was a bit of an oversight, but it's okay guys, fixed it. Now what we have is we have it just flowing from the sides and we have another hopper uh, section back here. So every little bit that drops down into the water is getting picked up. There's nothing getting stuck. Um, Actually can't show you right this minute because it doesn't seem like anything's falling off. Come on. Work. In action. Go. It's not listening to me. Anyways, guys, so that is the design there. We just have this with our little green path coming along. Uh, uh, grass path, sorry. And then, yeah, so that's there. This is this giant cactus, which looks average. It's, it's okay. Um, we have this sort of a pattern going across the roof here. Just randomized again. I decided not to put the glass on. I tried it, but it looked kind of stupid. So, 
Yeah, we just left it. And then we've got the, the light green, then the dark, then the dark again, and that. And we have our chests in the middle, which are filling up with items as we speak. And yeah, I had a whole heap on me, so that's just going and testing out the system. So behind... Oh, we have lights under here too, just to uh, yeah keep that going. But yeah, come on. Come on, flow through. Show me something. Okay, guys, just take my word for it, alright? It does work. It definitely does work. Now, if we just break in here quickly, I'll show you guys what's going on here. Same old uh, elevator design thing going. I mean, it's this out of the top of my head. I think this is how you're meant to do it. I'm sure there's a redstone torch in here somewhere, but, I mean, it's working anyway. So, we have this. All these go in here. They'll come along from the farm over there, and they will head up. Don't mind these chests. They're just full of rubbish. And, uh, yeah, I haven't cleaned it out yet, so... Yeah, the items will go up the the dropper elevator all the way into that um, hopper there, which will feed down a hopper chain into the chest, and uh, yeah, it'll go all the way to the bottom one, and then just slowly fill them up, just like this one over here. If we just quickly check, I want to see how much of this we got. Oh yeah, we got quite a bit. Might just turn that off, because I don't know when I will be back here again. But anyways, guys, that is the cactus farm, so I think we're going to have a never-ending a never amount of cactus now, so that's pretty cool. I really want this to work, like, in front of you guys. I've seen it a few times, so, I mean, it should just happen, right? Come on. Anyways, guys, that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.